Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And this is part of the Scubana e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Scubana is a software platform to manage your entire e-commerce operation. I'm especially excited to have Jordan Gall. He's founder of Carthook. Their software, re- pump the fist, their oh, software yeah. recovers lost revenue by contacting people who don't finish the checkout process. Genius idea. We'll talk about how he improved on it. And he previously ran a successful e-commerce business that was acquired. Jordan, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. Jeremy, thanks very much for having me on. Since this you know, is the Scubani Commerce Mastery Series, my question yeah. is, we talked about a lot of stuff, right? So what are some of the best things that people should take action on right now? If they didn't do anything else, they should just start here and do this. These are the highest priority for their business besides getting a card hook. Right. Let's right. – hell yeah. Um, <laughs> so if I assume that someone has an e-commerce business up and running yes. and, they, and they want it to grow, yes. right, I – I would look at where I start off from. I start off from a spreadsheet. I start off with math. I say, where am I? How much money am I making? How much money am I spending in order to make that money? What's working? What's not working? Where should I invest more? Um, And then once I would decide, okay, this category and this category of products are my best. I want to push those. Then I would say, okay, now let's look at my company and where can I push those more? Should those be on the homepage more? Should I be sending people more advertising to that page. Mm. Let me relook at that category page. Yeah. Is it according to the way people actually shop and not just the way we wanted to set things up? Then let me look at the product pages. Are they optimized? Are they talking about benefits? Do they show the reviews? Do they show better pictures than our competitors? And then just keep going forward. How does the shopping cart page look? Is my navigation out of the way? Am I having people focus? Is the button color the right way? Then go to the checkout page. Is this optimized? Is this the way people expect? Right? You don't want to get fancy on your checkout page. You want it to be the most boring page on your site. Yeah. First name, last name, address one, address two, city, yeah. state, zip, credit card number, name on credit card, CVV code, you know, like exactly the right order that it should be in. And then I would look at my different channels. Is blogging working? Should I pull back on it? Should I invest in a blog? Is affiliates working for me? I would just kind of evaluate all that stuff from one side all the other, starting off from the math of your spreadsheet to, you know, to the other end of it. How does my customer service look? So I would just do a sweep like that. If I was to do one thing and someone asked me to do, what's the one thing I should do? I'd say, go to your shopping cart page and optimize that page. Build more trust, take away distractions. Because yeah. I think that's something that, regardless of how much traffic you have going through it, a little uptick in that page in conversion rate makes makes a difference in the in the in the revenue line immediately. Yeah. Jordan, thank you so much. It's been awesome. Cool. Appreciate Jeremy, it. thanks very much for having me on. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers.